Hey, Mr. Casper, this is, um, I just got the phone with your wife. This is uh, 1814 Northville um, Hitcock Drive. So this is the um, front door when you first walk in. Um, this here, that's the half wall to the basement. That's the basement there. So actually, let's go down there first so we can get that done. So got a basement. Um, got your clean out here. And then this is where the area that will be plumbed for the bathroom. Uh, this is the unfinished area. So I'll get you a few angles of it. Um, this here is insulation. So in Colorado basements, they provide a day. I mean, the builders normally provide the insulation and they will uh, provide the electric most of the time. So all you have to do is uh, do drywall and all you have to do is um, your framing. So the basement's pretty, you know, not too complicated to finish. You just have to figure out the configuration on what goes where. So um, pretty big basement down here. It's got 1600 plus square feet. These two items right here are sump pumps. So essentially, if you don't know what a sump pump is, a sump pump is uh, when it rains and the rain rises, the sump pump will pump out the water before the water actually reaches your home. So we don't have rain issues out here, but they, you know, just put these out here, you know, just as, you know, um, just as things to kind of help out, you know, maintain the home. So this is the basement. So these here, these stair ladders, these are where bedrooms should be. You need an escape route in case there's a fire upstairs. So that's where the ladders are. And that's why they're in there where the bedroom should be. So another here. So potentially they would want the bedrooms to be over here. This would be your living area. That right over there is your mechanical room. You have stair storage underneath your staircase here. And then you'd have uh, possibly another bedroom here if you wanted to add one. And then you'd have your uh, bathroom. So here, okay. So now we can go upstairs. Okay, as you remember, we uh, walked in and this is the living area here. So. Okay, so we have our first of uh, the two bedrooms. So we have bedroom number one. Nice big window. <laughs> Got a view of the mountains in here too. So that's pretty nice. <clears throat> bedroom number one. And I'll get you just angles. When I get angles, what the angles will do is the angles will uh, give you kind of a view of how big the uh, actual room is. Got your bathroom here. So nice granite countertop, nice sink. You've got a nice drawer and some cabinets. And then as you can see, they're finishing up the house. So they'll have this finished. And then here we have our other bedroom. So that's nice. Okay, so we have that. We have your dining area here. Got your entrance to the backyard. Okay. Then we have our kitchen. So, kitchen, you've got some beautiful granite countertops, plenty of cabinet space. This is where the dishwasher is going to go. Got your sink. Your microwave will go here. Refrigerator goes here, stove goes here. 
So this is the pantry here. So you've got some nice space in the pantry. So you have nice pantry space. We do have our mudroom here. So that's the mudroom. This is where coat closet would be. Entrance to your garage. Got your nice sink over here. Cabinets, washer, dryer. So dryer, washer would be right here. We'll go outside uh, last. So this is your master bedroom. So your master bedroom is right off uh, kind of the garage area here. So that's your master. Okay, nice big room. Uh, Mrs. Castro asked if uh, you could fit a king size bed. You can definitely do that. King size bed, you can get a dresser in here and you can probably get a nightstand or two in here. So um, you can get that in here. And then we have your huge shower. This is a really, really nice shower. Really, really nice. So no tub in here. So it just has a nice big shower which is really, really nice. I see these in more expensive homes. You got some nice travertine tile in here. And then you have your granite countertop in here as well. Got your uh, drawers, his and her sinks. And then we have your closet. So we've got your walk-in closet, we've got space here. So all kinds of space in your walk-in closet. And then we will go outside and I'll get you the garage nice big garage really really nice you've got very tall ceilings and then you've got some nice deep space so nice deep space in the garage so and then we have our backyard area here and that's the side entrance here so you've got the side entrance nice stucco home Beautiful stucco job. So I'm gonna ask uh, the questions that your wife wanted me to ask. You've got uh, the backyard here. So, hey, guys, the hey, they just wanted to know, uh, guys, wanted to know how tall were the ceilings? For They're the nine. Nine feet? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then uh, when's the completion date? You know, it could be, we don't have one right now okay but it can be done within 30 days you know okay. within the time of closing okay and uh at this point we would still you know there's still some of the trim stuff you know and the, the appliances yeah. will uh -huh. be you know like a uh not a credit what am i right. trying to say you know like a, a a budget right line and uh we would still be interested or, or willing to change some lighting and we put mostly just those flat can lights in uh -huh. you know for now yeah. so so there's some flexibility there cool and trims in the bathroom and that okay. sort of thing so okay but uh yeah okay so that's about sounds it sounds good all right okay okay well, um yeah i'm just going to finish you know just walk around and then i'll be done so okay uh, yeah, perfect you know like right. the home so it's very very beautiful so well, thank you <laughs> absolutely thank so you. yeah very very nice all right so take care So, got your back area here, got your patio, you got a covered porch, which is really, really nice for the backyard, and then that's the door I was mentioning. So, um, I won't go back in, um, I'm just going to give you guys uh, just the outside here. You got your land, so I can zoom in on that. So that, where, where you see that utility pole, that's probably where the land goes out to. And you got a neighbor here, you got a neighbor there, and then you got your neighbor here, neighbor there, and then your neighbor there. So that's your neighbors. So um, I'll get you a view of the outside. Actually, I have to go back in to grab my sheet. So I'm gonna do that. So. That is the home. Okay. And you got your mountain views over here too. So 
All right, let me know what you think.